Welcome back everyone. We're looking at something different today. Well, not different, but ships as usual, but we're uh, we're going to do something different this weekend as far as the scheduling goes. We are going to do three videos this weekend. Tonight we're going to be looking at the Asperia Blade. Uh, we'll do a half-ass review on this ship, and tomorrow you should expect another half-ass review of another alien vessel. That's right, in honor of Alien Week, we are doing a couple extras tonight. Unfortunately, after the Blade, the Nox, and um, the Prowler, there's only really like so many of these ships to do. And I don't know how many of them I'm gonna get through this weekend, considering like, you know, money and rules. To like how the way the game works and timing of how selling shit back works but anyhow I, I don't know I, I plan on doing at least three of these for alien week hopefully I can get through all of them but we'll just have to see but anyhow we can go ahead and finish talking about that and as you can see I've been just kind of roaming around this blade here And uh, that thing just kind of crushed me. But that's how you get in it. Uh, you don't have to let it crush you. There is a better way of doing it. You can just kind of go to the other side and face it and let it come down. And you just, you know, you do that. I'll actually show a probably better version. No, I won't. But anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it, taking off, flying, doing all the fun stuff. Alright, hopping up in the air here while we wait for the door open. Let's go ahead and uh, pop up that landing gear. And all it really does is just pop the wings out. Uh, the thing doesn't really land. It, it's kind of like the, uh, the the one, the Nomad. <laughs> it's kind of like the Nomad in the sense that it uh, doesn't really actually like touch the ground when it's, on, when it's landed. But, whatever. It's a neat ship. This, the Blade, is a really cool looking ship. Um, we'll get into its performance here in a moment. I, I enjoy all the red, but it does kind of make life a little bit difficult with, like, certain color changes on the palette, but, you know, we, you can get over that if you really need to. Uh, the thing that you might not be able to get over is this, the ship will only really take you so far, um, on its own. As, as a fighter goes, like if you're doing this ship bounty hunting, I would take it to about a moderate risk target, and that's even going to be a bit of a challenge, I think. But we'll, we'll see ultimately here in a second. But before we get into the fighting, it's time to look at Urkel. Alright, so let's take a look here. Starting with the weapons, we've got two size 3 Warlord Plasma Cannons. Two size two wasp laser cannons, uh, doing about 673 DPS with 380 alpha. Uh, these these weapons are locked; you cannot change them, upgrade or anything. Uh, you can change all the other components uh, minus the missile racks. The missile racks themselves can't be changed out, but of course, you can change out you can change out the missiles so long as they're the same size. So you get eight size one missiles, starting with the arrows, two size one all stops, and one size one charger for the power plant, and two size one coolers, or bleh, ice plunges for the coolers, <laughs> and another ship that starts with a rush. So you can make it from Crusader to Hurston, but that Microtech trip going to take a couple stops, one or two, actually probably just one, I think. We got a total of 11,750 hit points, uh, 2,500 on the body, 2,500 on the nose, the rest on the wings, I think. Cost 3.3 million AUEC at Astro Armada in Area 18 right now. Also, for sale in-game for, I think, $330? I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that price. I'm, I'm not going to go look it up either. <laughs> just 
it's around that. <laughs> Actually, it might be around 220. Anyhow. All right, now for the part that everybody's probably been waiting for. Let's go see this thing in action. Um, I did do two combat missions where I was flying it, and uh, I did one that was HRT, and I did one that was MRT. Uh, I'm going to show you the one that was successful. Let's just say that. MRT. It was the MRT. Here we also get a chance to take a look at what this thing looks like entering in a light atmosphere. A very light atmosphere. Uh, this is Ida, or Ida, way over in Hurston. Uh, this is a moderate target we're going after. Uh, we are actually surprisingly close, so I might as well just go ahead and leave it here, and I'll see you after the fight's over. Alright, well, while it might not be the most traditional way to win a fight, I don't care. I still got him. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> all right well i hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like and subscribe and come back for more bye <laughs>